Hey everyone, quick tip for you guys. I had an interesting development today. So we had a, a deal where one of our students was buying the property and uh, so it's a wholesaler and got the deal directly from the seller and the wholesaler was flipping it to our student. Our student was buying it with a hard money loan and uh, closing was supposed to happen two days ago and we're just funding now. So we're funding kind of like two days late. So for those of you that want to wholesale, you need to understand the mechanics behind the transaction, okay? Because let's let's just go back to the basics. So you start out, let's say you mailed out a postcard to a seller and uh, the seller called you. You went out to the house, you met with the seller and uh, you made an offer, you decided to buy the house. Now you got a house under contract, congratulations, woohoo. And now you want to be a wholesaling legend, you want to flip that house to someone. So you go, you put it out in the email list, you find somebody who wants to buy the house, in this case my student, and you sign a contract with them, all right? Um, you need to control your deal because here's the thing that can happen, right? So let's say your contract dated August 1st. Now, in an ideal world, we would close a couple of days before to give us some time, but that's not how title companies work. So on August 1st, they expect everybody to close. But for whatever reason, certain things are delayed. So in this case, the buyer didn't put insurance on the property and the lender, the hard money lender didn't want to fund until there was insurance on the property. So another day went by and another day went by and there was a lot of mass communication going on, you know, confusion because the title company didn't know who the buyer was or who the wholesaler was. And so there was a whole slew of emails going back and forth. But here's what you need to understand. Let's say closing date's August 1st and now it's August 3rd. You need to understand that that seller is freaking out because they don't understand. They went on August 1st and they signed their closing documents and now two days later they still don't have their money. And I said, what's going on? I signed the closing documents. It should be a sale. Where's my wire? Right? I sold the house. So they can freak out. They freak out in the title coming and say, you know, something's wrong here. Cancel this deal. I'm going to sell this house to someone else. And you have to understand that you as a wholesaler run the risk of losing your profit and the buyer on the deal. You run your risk of, 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 of losing the deposit and losing the deal. All right? So when you have a situation like that, control your deal, make sure everything closes on time and speak to the buyers and the sellers and make sure it all works out. All right, so that's a uh, quick tip from Lex.